two best night night boxes in the business are set to put over the four standing room in the crowd at the Houston, Texas Coliseum. Movie champion Joe Brown defending his title for the third time within eight months. This is Kenny Lane, the number one contender. Passing the action, Kenny Lane in the black trunks nails Brown fresh on the jaw as he makes his bid to become the first South Four lightweight champion in ring history. So far, the sellout crowd of 11,000 fans for this 15 round championship bout has concluded to a boxing gem. Lane's defensive moves have kept Joe Brown and White Pierce on the receiving end of some solid punches. South Park challenges Kenny Lane, scoring well with the champion, has never been knocked off his feet. On the other hand, Brown in White Pierce has had five previous fights with left handed sluggers and knocked them all out. In the tenth, Brown's combination of left uppercut followed by right crosses to the head and finally finding their mark. Now the lane has been able to weather any momentary story by the champion. Joe, who has won his last 17 encounters, has run up against the human ghost on Penny Lane. The position lane, who has compiled a string of 19 victories, is proving to be a tough customer. Penny is pressed now from the opening bell of his jabbing attack and telling left to the body and head. Round 12, and for Lane and Black, it'll be the first time he's gone beyond the front line. The 26 year old underdog from Muskegon, Michigan, shows no signs of tiring as the bruising struggle moves along. In the final round, the seesaw battle levels off as Joe Brown and White Trunks land some heavy smashes to the head of Lane. Penny only occasionally now flies back to that awkward left wing, and Joe Brown lands the more damaging blow. in trouble as Brown comes down to a thundering finish here in round 15. Those staggering left hooks and right uppercuts to the head of Lane have really hurt the challenger as the bell sounds ending the fight. Joe Brown wraps up his fifth successful defense of the great late crown with the unanimous 15 round decision over Kenny Lane. A Gillette Cavalcade of Sports presentation. Now, a guided medicine that relieves coughing like aspirin relieves headaches. Thorexin, the guided cough medicine, speeds relief to the cough control center. Doctors know coughing is not controlled in the throat. Your throat merely follows orders from the cough control center. <coughs> ordinary cough syrups don't even touch the cough center. <coughs> Until now, only cough medicines with narcotics could depress the cough center. But narcotics may leave undesirable side effects. Instead of narcotics, Thorexin contains demethorphan. Thorexin soothes your throat 
then speeds through your bloodstream directly to the cough control center. Relieves your cough like aspirin relieves headaches. Fast, sure, safe. Get Thorexin, the guided cough medicine. For other cold symptoms, stuffy nose, aches, fever, get Thorexin cold capsules. Another guided medicine from Gillette Laboratories. Thorexin cold capsules. The Gillette Cavalcade of Sports is on the air. Jimmy Powers welcoming you to another Friday night boxing match telecast for your entertainment by the Gillette Safety Razor Company. From War Memorial Auditorium in Syracuse, New York, we bring you a 10-round lightweight bout between Kenny Lane of Muskegon, Michigan. His opponent is Laurie Godie of Paris, France, and scoring is by the round system in New York State. In appreciation to its customers everywhere, Gillette telecasts the major boxing event of the week every Friday night and such attractions as the World's Invitational Match Game Bowling Championships, Blue and Gray Football Game, Rose Bowl Game, Kentucky Derby, All-Star Baseball Game, and the World Series. Here in Syracuse tonight, the weather is fair, temperature 37 degrees, and here is Dick Tobin, the announcer. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the ever popular, young, hard punching heavyweight contender who meets Willie Bestman off in New York City, Friday night, November the 28th, from Syracuse, New York, Mike Dijon. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the ever popular, former one the weight and middleweight champion of the world. Minnesota, New York. Come on up. Come on to the studio. Lori Godie from France in the right corner and Joe Palmer, a very pop 
popular and very competent referee in this part of the country is the third man in the ring. <laughs> Lane, as you can see, is fighting uh, in an unorthodox stance with his right arm extended. <clears throat> He's a natural lefty, but many natural lefties switch. Carmen Vasilio is a natural left-hander, but he fights out of an orthodox stance. Both boys have lost only six fights. Lane six and 53-1. Godi six and 47-1. Ooh. Left hook to the body there. Had Godi uh, tripping on his heels. boxing left-handers. One is to pitch right-hand leads and move to the left. Godi is boxing straight away. Just as if he had an orthodox man in front of him. Godi and White, champion of France. One minute to the end of round one, and your Gillette Cavalcade of Sports is coming from Syracuse tonight. The horse show is in Madison Square Garden. So if you want to make the big league in baseball or be a television star, you take it away, Mr. Announcer. You tell them how. Right, Bob. The easy, refreshing way to shave is the Gillette way, because only Gillette offers a choice of three razors, light, regular, and heavy. One exactly matched to your skin and beard. Get yours where you see this display. Razor, Gillette Blue Blade Dispenser, and Trim Travel Case, one dollar. cut, grunts a lot on every punch. You can hear that noise picked up by our... <laughs> Lane jabs and then moves to his right and to plant his left on his opponent's face or body. He has a little shifty move. Jabs with his right, and then he moves to his left, a half step.
D is very good at uppercuts and close too. These boys are two pretty good end fighters. Jolting uppercuts there, and both boys use an uppercut in close. Now let's follow uh, Kenny Lane over to his corner. Kenny Lane, last July, boxed Joe Brown for the lightweight championship of the world, and he lost a 15-round decision by just one point. He came that close to becoming champion. He was born in Big Rapids, Michigan in 32. He was a fullback in Big Rapids High. He made his professional start at Grand Rapids on his 21st birthday. He had 14 straight, then a cut eye and a bar with Ronnie Stribling hauled of that. Early in his career, he was guided by Pete Petrosky, a one-time star welder, Doc Kearns, who guided both Jack Dempsey and Mickey Walker and Joey Maxim to world titles, is helping Lane in his quest for another chance at the title. Like young Stribling, Kenny Lane has a strong liking for motorcycles and hot rods. Father of a two-year-old daughter, makes good use of his right jab, is a good infighter for a southpaw. His record shows wins over Zulueta, Johnny Gonzalez, Frankie Riff, Ralph Dupas, Ludwig Lightburn, Glenn Flanagan, and Henry Brown. has the uh, longer reach, much longer arms. match game bowling championships from Chicago. And this will be presented in place of the regular Friday night fight on December 12th.
A decent shave, they say. Is with a razor, my Gillette, my Gillette. It gets the call of day. A shot, a shot, a shot. Now there's a razor, Gillette Super Speed, with the blade edge and the weight you need. Light, regular, heavy. Hey! Only way to get a decent shave. Choose yours for fast, refreshing shaves that look and feel clean. The light is for men with lighter beards. The regular for average skin and beard, and the heavy for dense, heavy, hard to shave beards. Change blades, sip. Clean with a quick rinse. One dollar buys Gillette Super Speed Razor, Gillette Blue Blade Dispenser, and convenient travel case. Uh, promoter Norman Rothschild, who is uh, generally respected in this area as one of the finest young promoters in the business, tells me that Kenny Lane is a natural right-hander who has switched to a left-handed stance, which is unusual. trying to get inside those long arms and so he ducks moves in and then he's inside those big arms and that's where he scores most effectively see uh, lane turn around look at the referee see what he was saying it's a good way to get clipped started performing for American troops when they were occupying Algeria. He received food and tobacco for boxing for them. Before turning pro, he was the French national amateur champ. He won uh, 55 out of 61. Like last year's winner, Hogan Bassey, Godi made his first American appearance on these Gillette Cavalcade of Sports presentations in April when he won over Larry Baker. Since then, he's boxed Johnny Busso and Don Jordan. Before uh, his Busso setback, Godi has enjoyed a winning streak of 20 straight. At one time, he worked as a shoe salesman and he sold ladies' footwear. He is 29 years old, 5 feet 8 and a half, an inch and a half taller than Kenny Lane, and he's uh, three years older. He's had 55 bouts, lost only six, and scored 12 knockouts. Lane, of course, won 53 fights, lost only six, and scored 10 knockouts. Camera caught that. 
O.D. holds his gloves much higher and much closer to his face. Seen a right over Godie's left jab. Gillette Cavalcade of Sports coming your way tonight from Syracuse. Go D and the White Trump.